Here we have a 1995 Park Prix Pro 825. This is one of my personal bikes. I picked it up a while back. It came with a very cheap suspension fork with the beat brake on it. Those got taken off and I put on a Tongi Prestige rigid fork in chrome. Very nice looking fork. It was new old stock and uncut, so I kept it uncut to allow flexibility with the bike. As you can see, I kind of keep my bars level, level with my saddle, which works so well for me. The drivetrain is the original 3x8 XT. It works beautiful, so I haven't replaced it. The brakes are CX700s, which are XT level. They originally for hybrids. That's just what I had. A Madison Flux saddle, which is very similar to the Charge Spoon saddle with aluminum, aluminum seat post. Up to the cockpit, this is where I modified the most. We have a Salsa Bend 740 handlebar. Um, I found this bar used, it was a bit faded, but it works really well for this build with ESI chunky pedals. The stem, I want to keep the original reach or very close to it. I ended up finding a 130 millimeter threadless stem with a 17 degree rise. This has kept the, uh, the bar and the saddle about even, maybe slightly lower. I run this bike on easy trails such as this one here. Basically too easy for a modern mountain bike. Works great for a vintage mountain bike. Basically gravel bike, gravel rides. I run this bike with bags. We have the uh, saddle bag I use here with my tools and such, along with a speed sleeve handlebar bag, which really works well for like cell phones and wallet, maybe a snack. The wheels are XTR 910 hubs, laced to Mavic uh, two M261, which are 20 millimeter wide, inner. The original wheels came with this bike, the Pulsar hubs. They were good wheels, but these are better. And so these got on the bike. Very, very beautiful build. Become one of my favorite bi mountain bikes of the era. Now it's time for the weigh-in. Being attacked by flies. I've taken off the bags and the water. And here we go. Twenty-four point zero. Very light steel frame. Thank you for watching.